if you haven't heard about some unique sculptures dotting a park and some surrounding communities in central Minnesota, you may be missing out. And even if you have seen them, Boyd Hooper thinks maybe it's time you meet the man behind these quirky creations. When you live in a town with a population this small, sometimes you gotta think big. Yeah. Ken Nyberg has spent nearly 40 years helping tiny vining Minnesota find its spotlight. Look at that guy, huh? He's big. From animal Look at this thing. to whimsical, the creations of Ken Nyberg have popped up all over Vine. An eagle on a stump. His latest marks a milestone. 101. I got it written right here. 101 metal sculptures since this 83-year-old self-taught welder and artist found a talent hiding inside him. Ready? And started sharing it. Say cheese. They have watermelon day every year. The old ladies around town would ask me, when are you gonna make a watermelon? Well, I finally got around to it. A melon made from scraps of steel. An elephant made of lawnmower blades. I believe it was 955, if I remember correctly. It's something different, you know. The retired construction worker started modestly in his 40s with a crudely welded tree, followed by a leg-lifting dog, by which time Ken was nipping at his passion. Everybody accuses me of making myself, but it's not. It's not me. My son told me when I was making it, he said, to be, be sure to put a crappy old shirt on like you wear. <laughs> With only so much space in vining, surrounding communities happily opened up some of theirs, too. Down at Byron, I made bears for all three of their schools. I started out with a great big grizzly for their high school, they're the Byron Bears. I believe it was 1,207 lawnmower blades in that. And then just a few years later, then they, they were built their elementary school, and I made them bear cubs, and there's, in those two bear cubs, there's 1,626 lawnmower blades. As the legend of Ken Nyberg has grown to Bunyan-esque proportions, Vining's only convenience store named itself after one of his sculptures. Who made these sensations? Ken Nyberg. Then the BBC made a music video. Oh, it's Ken Nyberg, Nyberg, Nyberg. But even in a town of 78, Ken's still not the most famous Nyberg. Booster ignition and liftoff of shuttle Discovery. Space shuttle mission STS-124. Mission specialist Karen Nyberg. One of two trips to the International Space Station for Karen Nyberg, <laughs> this proud dad's daughter. You know, she accomplished quite a lot. Discovery Houston. Even carved out, thanks to her dad, a space of her own in Vine. Oh my gosh, it's you. Ken Nyberg <laughs> didn't need a big city. Well, this is so neat. To make a big splash. Cockroach. <laughs> he blossomed. Okay. <laughs> right where he was planted. It's really amazing. Boy Dupert, Care 11 News. I just love it. Fine. I just love it. <laughs> Nyberg mm. Sculpture Park is located in Otter Tail County, about 160 miles northwest of the Twin Cities. If you'd like to check out more of Ken's artwork or watch the rest of his BBC music video, you will find the links in the story on care11.com. Both are interesting viewing for sure. I love it. I, I bet you at home were having the same conversations we were through that whole story. Like, fantastic. You've seen the bears, right? He's like, I've seen those I've bears seen those at the bears. high school. I've been to Byron They're really high school. talented. Yes. We're also wondering where he gets all the lawnmower blades. Exactly. But I, I hope a bunch of people give him a bunch more because he does such a great, great job. Very creative.